This is Ken Ferry with this week's Boots in the Field. Harvest is rolling along at a strong pace. We are finally now taking some of those farms out in the heaviest water damaged areas. And as expected, we're seeing some sub 100 bushel corn to 140 bushel corn yields um, and 35 to 50 bushel farm averages in that toughest spot up in there. Uh, Those guys are working to get that cleaned up. And again, a lot of insurance claims probably in that area to the north and east of here. But in the other areas, uh, yields are still staying strong as we move into these late beans. Seeing the yield stay in there or maybe even two to three bushel higher in these later beans itself. Same way with the later planted corn continues to push yields, and they may even be higher than the earlier planted corn as well. It's pretty phenomenal how the yields keep knocking around uh, on these fields even planted out into the second and third week in May. In our fungicide trials, we've been working on the plots pretty hard, and the fungicide trials uh, on the early beans uh, was kind of a hit or miss, whether we saw a response to a foliar fungicide. But as we move into these later beans, it looks like we're going to end up with some pretty good responses to the fungicide in the later planted beans in that two to five, six bushel range. So it'll be interesting to see how the rest of them come out. Corn fungicides have been strong no matter when we planted the corn. They've been strong in most areas. We did have another plot this week that bumped that 39 bushel response to a fungicide application. Uh, Again, seeing big numbers from from the fungicide trials. We'll have to dig through them this winter. The nitrogen plots, when we first started taking out the plots, I thought that we were probably going to see what I'd call rate plots, meaning the higher the nitrogen rate, the higher the yield. Uh, but that's not how it's actually coming out. Um, as we work through these plots, it's still timing and placement. So timing and placement is actually out trumping the yields. You're seeing timing uh, applications in there make bigger differences than another 20, 30, 40 pounds of in. So got some good stuff coming from there as well. For you guys that are uh, doing fall tillage, this this fall has really been a gift. We haven't had one this dry. It allowed this kind of good shatter in a long time. So don't take this weather for granted and and let it slip by. It could turn on us any day. Let's go ahead and get that tillage done if we're going to do it. I know there's a number of you that are going to take your first dabber into vertical tillage as far as going out there and and, um, starting a vertical till program this year. Remember the the first commandment of vertical tillage is you got to get the fall primary tillage right. We, we must have complete shatter in that top four to six inches. So that means we got to be doing some digging behind these machines and adjusting our depth uh, and our speed, of course, for each field, for each soil type. But uh, we've been able to achieve uniform shatter uh, in just almost everything that we're working with right now, and it really looks good. For the strip till, strip till really looks good. We're building some good seed beds right now. It's still, of course, too warm for the anhydrous ammonia. But again, don't let this weather slip away and lose a chance at building a very good seed bed itself. I would get the stripping done and start thinking about moving the nitrogen to spring uh, so you don't lose this opportunity to build the kind of strips that we're building right now. Our soil testing crews are right on top of the combine. The office crews in here are pumping out the spread maps as fast as we uh, get the fields sampled. So there again, keep us posted. When the harvest is done in that field, let us know so the guys can come in there right behind the combines and clean that up and keep everybody in a timely fashion so we can get our lime, fertilizer, and tillage done um, before we lose this window of opportunity itself. With that, keep it safe and keep at her. We'll talk to you next week.